locomotion and movement. This chapter, included in the unit of human physiology. This is an entire video course on this chapter, it deals with muscle and muscle contraction, various types of joints, and disorders of the muscular and skeletal system. This video is prepared on behalf of, Bile4U.com. Types Movements There are three types of movement, in a cell and organs. These are Amoeboid movement, it is like that of pseudopodia, in amoeba, for example, macrophages, leukocytes, and even cytoskeletal microfilaments, show amoeboid movement. Ciliary and flagella movement, ciliary movement in the epithelial lining of the trachea, reproductive tract, etc. Sperms show, flagella movement. Muscular movement, muscles are responsible for most of the movement, in a multicellular organism, breathing, the function of heart, digestion, movement of appendages, locomotion, everything is performed by various muscles in our body. Locomotion is the coordinated movement of skeletal, neural, and muscular systems. Types of muscles. Muscles originate from the mesodermal germinal layer. Muscular tissues have certain unique properties, such as contraction, extension, excitation, elasticity, etc. There are three types of muscles. Cardiac muscles, striated and involuntary, present in the heart. Visceral muscles, smooth and non-striated. They are also involuntary, and support various internal organs, and take part in various functions, such as digestion, reproduction, etc. Skeletal muscles, striated and voluntary, responsible for the locomotion and movement of appendages. Let's learn in more detail about skeletal muscles, their structure, and the mechanism of muscular contraction. Anatomy of muscle fiber and sarcomere. Each organized skeletal muscle is made of a number of muscle bundles, or fascicles, held together by a common collagenous connective tissue layer, called fascia. Each muscle is enclosed by paramecium, muscle attached to the bone by tendons. See the diagrammatic structure of a muscle. This diagram shows the organization of a muscle. It exposes the muscle bundle, muscle fibers, sarcolemma and blood supply. We can study the details in the ongoing lecture. A muscle shows the following structure. 1. Fascicles are a muscle bundle. A muscle, such as a biceps, comprises many muscle bundles or fascicles, held together by fascia, a connective tissue layer. Each fascicle contains, many muscle fibers. 2. Muscle fibers. Muscle fibers are elongated cells. They are organized into bundles, called fascicles. The characteristics features of muscle fibers are. Each skeletal muscle fiber is long, cylindrical and striated. It is syncytium, that is, contains many nuclei. Sarcolemma. It is the plasma membrane of the muscle fiber. Sarcoplasm. It is the cytoplasm of the muscle fiber. Sarcoplasmic reticulum. It is the endoplasmic reticulum of the muscle fiber. This is the storehouse of calcium ions. 3. Myofibrils. Each muscle fiber has multiple myofibrils, running lengthwise and parallel to each other in the sarcoplasm.